Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to record your screen with internal audio, so audio from your computer, but also with sound coming from your microphone at the same time. And this can be very tricky on Mac, but we're going to do this with QuickTime in combination with Black Hole, a virtual audio driver. A very good one because it is free and it does not leave a watermark. So let's begin. You start by going to this page, which I have link in the description, and you'll go down here and click on Download Installer. This will redirect you to the page for Black Hole, where you write in your email address, your first name, and last name. I will do this now. And then you click on Subscribe for free Mac download. And within a few seconds or minutes, you will receive an email um, in order to download Black Hole. A few seconds later, I got the email and it looks like this. And now you press the link to uh, download Black Hole. You will see this and you will have different um, versions to download. And the one you will pick is 16 channel. You download it. Now you have to write in your password. Now it is finished downloading, so I close it, remove the installer to bin, and now I should have black hole. So what I do now is that I go up to the upper right corner, press on the magnifying glass, and search for MIDI audio setup. And I already have it here, audio MIDI setup. And now what we'll do is that we'll go down to the lower left corner and press the plus sign. It will create an aggregate device and we'll rename it to QuickTime Player Input. And here we'll select Black Hole 16 channel and our built-in microphone in my case um, or the um, external microphone if you have one. And here you want to make sure on the clock source it is better to have the actual hardware um, selected um, instead of a virtual audio driver or um, anything else as the clock source. So put your microphone or the built-in microphone as the clock source. Then you'll go down to the uh, and plus sign again and create a multi-output device. We will rename this to screen record with audio. And here the built-in output is already selected and it should. Um, and then you select the Black Hole 16 channel and if you have an external microphone then you should select that one again. And as the master device you want the built-in output. If it is not the built-in output then you'll not be able to hear the sound that is coming from the computer while you're recording. And of course you want to, to hear that sound and be able to regulate the volume and different things. Now that this is done, we'll go to the upper left corner and click on the Apple sign. We'll go to System Preferences and to Sound. Here we'll see Output. And instead of Headphones, we will select Screen Record with Audio. Note that when you do this, you can no longer change the um, audio of the sound coming out of your computer. To do this, you simply go back to headphones and you change it. But when you, when you are recording, you cannot change it unless you go back. I know that this is kind of clunk and it is kind of dumb, but that is simply how it is done on Mac, sadly. Then we'll go to Input. And instead of what I have here, external microphone or internal microphone, we'll, we'll pick Black Hole 16 channel. If you have a um, microphone that is um, a USB microphone or something that you can select in the audio MIDI setup, which you have selected there, you can choose that here as well and it will record the audio coming from that external USB microphone. Now we'll go to QuickTime Player, but because I'm right now recording with QuickTime Player, I will 
show you um, the last with pictures with audio over them. Open QuickTime Player either by pressing the magnifying glass and searching for it or opening it um, in applications. You'll then find it at the bottom of your screen in the dock. You'll right click it and start a new screen recording. Then you'll have the option to record the entire screen or a portion of the screen. But we're going to click on Options. In Options, you will see that the selected microphone is the built-in microphone. When you are recording your screen with internal audio and audio from your microphone, you will instead choose QuickTime Audio Input. Now, when you press Record, you will record your screen with internal audio and external audio, audio from your microphone, which I will show now. And as you can see, I am recording my screen, the internal audio, the audio coming from my computer, and the sound from my microphone as well. If this video helped you, then please give it a like. If you have any questions, then post them in the comments. And thank you for watching.